All right, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about PDF and the workflow using them. So I don't know about you, but I kind of imagined at least a few years ago, like, hey, the way things are going, I bet PDF, somebody's going to kind of crack the code on making these really easy to manipulate and deal with. And it's certainly gotten better and we're, you know, these tools are being developed that help us but it's just not as easy as anything else out there. And there's still a lot of really good information out there I come across that I wanna keep, but I know if I just have this hard drive full of PDFs or I have them on Dropbox, I'm never gonna go back in there. You know what I mean? Like I have them for reference, but the odds of me resurfacing the important information are pretty low. Uh, so that said, something I've done, and I'll mention Remarkable here in a minute is to use Zoto, but you can use anything that does um, a highlight on the actual PDF, right? So we're gonna come back to that. And if you don't have a Remarkable or you're not interested in it, uh, you can fast forward to the part where we stop talking about Remarkable because this is gonna apply to anyone in general. Also, you, I like how the hair is really sticking up today. I came in this morning from an overnight backpacking trip and just got right to work and we're just gonna roll with it. All right, so with the Remarkable, now, if you haven't seen this, you know, it's an e-ink screen. I just put in a very simple PDF here to show the example. You can do some highlights on it. So let me show you an example. You could just draw a line, or maybe if you're reading this kind of naturally, you know, just say, oh, this text uh, and this paragraph is really important. I just kind of want to remember that that's important. So you get something like that, all right? So yeah, just kind of a blob over it. The problem is that that doesn't really translate into anything. When I email this to myself or... Um, the way I've got it set up, I email it to a Zap email using Zapier uh, that then forwards it into ClickUp. It could send it any number of places, but that's all it is. When I look at the PDF, I can see that there's a blob over it and that it looks like highlighting, but it doesn't do anything with these other programs that interpret PDFs. So what I started doing was to take that information and go into Zoto, right? So what you can do is launch it. And this is a cross browser. I don't use it much on mobile, but you can. Um, but then, so let's say you've emailed yourself or you have that PDF file. You can go look and find a local file. And we've got a sample here. And what you can do, I don't have the one I literally just highlighted, but you would see that there's some um, blobs over it. But what you would need to do is come in and highlight it, right? So you could come in and highlight and I'm just going to do one more for fun. And then you could export this. And all you would do is click Save Locally. Now you have it. And for example, if you're using Readwise, you can send yourself uh, that PDF and it'll extract the highlights. Now, where does this all come together and why am I talking about this? Because if you're using the Remarkable, it's more natural, at least for me, to be reading it here, to be maybe making some notes, to quickly you know, draw that blob I did over... Uh, a paragraph instead of reading it on this screen and clicking and dragging and trying to be very precise. It lets me engage more with the content in the PDF and then bring it in here where I can see where I've done the squigglies and then I can more uh, precisely highlight in a manner using Zoto that is gonna be readable by these other services like Readwise. Is it an extra step? Yes. But for me, is it worth it? Definitely, because I get to, again, spend the time interacting and reading and thinking more with the Readwise and then I can bring it in here quickly, uh, grab my highlights, and then I email it into Readwise and it, just the highlights get pulled out and added to my account. Now, if you're not using a Remarkable, I think what you could also do, there's many other online services you could use to, to potentially mark it up, or maybe you could, uh, if you're using some form of a tablet, you can do that. Or what I was doing before, and it's perfectly fine, is to come in and read it using this and highlight as you go. I just found that it for me, it wasn't quite as nice as having you know, this ability to quickly draw a blob highlight on top of it and go from there. So hopefully this helped you. Uh, if you're using a Remarkable tablet, I find that this is really effective. Um, definitely check out Readwise too. If you're using Remarkable and you haven't checked out that service, it's fantastic and it does much more than what I just talked about. Uh, and Zoto as well. This has been super helpful. So uh, if you got any questions about this or want to uh, offer some tips or insights on your PDF workflow, by all means, leave a comment.